A uh, day after the FIR against Rahul Gandhi and other Congress leaders, Rahul Gandhi boldly has declared that he's fearless, asserting that Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma has attempted to intimidate him and that would prove futile. On the 11th day of his Bharat Jodo Yatra, Rahul Gandhi continued his verbal attack against Himanta Biswa Sarma, which has almost been a complete face-off, calling him the most corrupt chief minister. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma instead hit back at Rahul Gandhi and accused him of running away to his next destination after instigating Congress workers to orchestrate violence. And that's the ground on which the FIR has also been filed against Rahul Gandhi. Meanwhile, Rahul President Malik Arjun Kharge sought Home Minister Amit Shah's intervention, alleging attacks on the Yatra and accusing Assam police of colluding with the BJP workers and turning a blind eye towards the breach of Rahul Gandhi's security court. And the FIR, filed later by Assam police, accused Rahul Gandhi of deviating from the designated rule, instigating violence and injuring four police personnel, leading to a clash in Guwahati. HBS, which controller और वो देश का सबसे बड़ा चीफ मिनिस्टर है अब पता नहीं कहां से इसके दिमाग में आईडिया आ गया कि वो राहुल गांधी को डरा सकता जितने केस लगाने मेरे ऊपर लगा दो कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता मुझे मैं नहीं डरता जब वो घर लेने आए मैंने खुशी से उनको चाबी ली और कहा देखो भैया ये तुम्हारा घर है मुझे ये घर नहीं चाहिए उठा के ले जाओ मेरा घर पता कहां है मेरा घर हिंदुस्तान के हर नागरिक के दिल में है असम के मुख्यमंत्री को भी शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूं कि उन्होंने हमारे पूछे बिना भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा को भरपूर पब्लिसिटी दिया असम में और देश भर में उनके बयान उनके ट्वीट उनके धमकी ने भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा को और आगे बढ़ाया है हम डरते नहीं हैं हम डरेंगे नहीं हम पीछे हटेंगे नहीं पर मैं उनको शुक्रिया अदा करना चाहता हूं कि उन्होंने खूब प्रयास किए राइट एंड आई एम बीइंग जॉइन बाय माय कोलीग श्रेया एट दिस पॉइंट श्रेया व्हाट्स हैपनिंग राइट नाउ You know, we know that after yesterday's scuffle between the police and the Congress, remember the Congress, the Yatra was traveling. They were tra traveling to Kamru via Hajo and at one point they tried to enter the Guwahati city. Now after the Yatra tried to enter the Guwahati city, we saw that there was a tussle between the Congress uh, supporters and between the police barricades were broken right after that. We saw that a fire has been uh, lodged in Bashishta police station in Assam, so motto by the police against Rahul Gandhi and several other Congress leaders. Now what the police have to say is that that was not the designated route that the Yatra took. It was already decided upon the route which the Yatra will take and it was broken. There was a law and order situation. Even some police personnel were hurt. This is what the police have to say. Now as far as the Congress party is concerned, they have said that this is nothing but intimidation tactics. By Assam's Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma, they say that ever since the Yatra have entered the state of Assam, there has been different, you know, they have been trying in different ways to disrupt the Yatra, but these intimidation tactics are not going to work for the Congress Party. They're not afraid of any empty threats. Remember, before this, Rahul Gandhi was also not allowed to enter the Bardwa Thaan. After yesterday's scuffle, now we see an FIR has been registered against Rahul Gandhi and several other Congress leaders. Right. Thank you very much, Shreya, for all of those details.